Hello, so let's go through the basic for the band manic power. In this tutorial, we're going to be going and explaining the table, twist, and stitch as well. So, uh, rotate that 90 degrees on an x axis. Go to front view now. I'll uh, go ahead and um, hide my sun here. And let's go with an SY or SC here on Z axis to scale the object up. And I'm going to go ahead and tap to edit mode. Let's go and control R in the middle here. So uh, I'll give them uh, 18 sides here. Now I'll go ahead and connect this as well. So I'll right click and subdivide with 16 sides. Amazing. So now for that, I'll go ahead and grab one of the edges here and uh, just random edges and loop them. All right, so I'll go and loop that here. Alt and Shift, Control left click. Simply I'm gonna go to top view, right click, extrude allow normals. And let's go and zoom in here and let's try to wire promote select the edge mode i'll go and select this here right click and subdivide i'll get in three segments here there we go so now with that being said let's go to edge mode once more i'll loop this here and i'll go ahead and scale that uh, on y axis so s y and i'm gonna go ahead and add two loops here so I'll go and select these here and subdivide them. Once more, I'll go ahead and loop these here and uh, subdivide them. Right click and subdivide. And it should be good to go here. Now let's go ahead and proceed. And now we're gonna need to mirror that over. So this is an example to start with the band modifier. I'm gonna give him a mirror here on the axis. It's because you wanna have something to work with. So uh, now for that, I'll go and subdivision surface. Amazing, with two subdivisions here, we should be good to go. Apply that, I'll begin object mode. And now I'm gonna go to right view here, G and Z on Z axis. Make sure that you're doing that on object mode because we don't need to change the origin because that pivot here, the orange point. So I'll go ahead and simple deform. Okay, so uh, in that option here, you find four modifiers. We can go through them all here. So first thing first, make sure that you apply the uh, modifier on uh, all the transformers. Apply all transformers, and you can just start with a band here. So uh, as I mentioned here, band modifier on x-axis, make it 180 degrees, and um, yeah, that's simply how you bend the objects. So we get y-axis here, and we get unique effect, and uh, we could. Z axis. Now we get radial effect here from on Y axis. All right. So now we do have as well twist here. We're gonna twist the object. Now if I get just my camera here when run my ratio to 360, I get that effect here. I could uh, Y axis is a little bit weird, but X axis. When we twist the uh, object, normally we do that in one axis here. So uh, let's go ahead and again taper. So we're gonna taper the object just as you see here. I could increase that threshold or the factor. Or decrease that. And I could just stitch. That's gonna give us a taper with the twist here. So it's an combination of the twist and the table, this, this switch modifier, amazing, so now uh, we can just go ahead and apply a couple of operations here, let's see that we're gonna bend that over 360 degrees on x axis, then I'm gonna go ahead and apply that modifier, apply simple deform once more, and now we can just twist that, so I'm gonna be twisting that object over one y axis, threshold 180 degrees that's weird but we can just continue apply and I could simply deform once more taper now we get y axis here or z axis let's y axis here with the threshold 1.2 now I'll apply and the last thing last here we get simple deform on this stage here so uh, in my case I'll go on 2.5 and that's a weird shape here, so I'll decrease that up to 0.5 here, should be more than enough. And now, I can do apply and apply subdivision surface. 
that's why it's a little bit here and um, we can just give that too so don't do that if you don't have stronger performance now I'll apply let's wait a little bit here I'm gonna tap here to edit mode I'll select the face mode A right click and uh, say shader smooth here okay so that's the art that we get now we could create the base as well to print that so I don't want to go through 3D printing today I'll just go and continue that lesson here without going and printing that object so if you wanna print an object or an art you can use the simple deform because it can give you the basic and uh, helping you create more complex shapes again that was everything for this simple introduction for the simple deform if you have any further question drop in the comment section and if you like this tutorial don't forget to support me as well i wish you an amazing day